I told my daughter I was doing air fried bell peppers today, and she said, Mom, would you do a whole orange one? Somehow, she's missed out on the orange. I do a combination, and by the time she got here, the orange ones were gone. I cut my peppers in about half inch slices. First step, put them in a bag with some flour and shake them up. Get a little bit of flour on each one. You can do them individually. It just takes more time. Put them in a plate. Each one, put it in your beaten egg. And then, drop it in a panko. Today I'm just using panko. It coats really nicely. And then it's one. You can use four C's, salt-free seasoned breadcrumbs. There's eight milligrams for a half a cup. Panko has 35 for a half a cup. Kind of depends on what your daily allowance is. If you've got the sodium to spend and you want to try the panko, do that. If you don't have the sodium to spend, go with this one. I'm going to do one slice with McCormick's Golden Dip Cracker Meal Seasoned Fry Mix. They've got a whole bunch of these on the market. You look up at your grocery store, there'll be a lot of them. The sodium is really high on a lot of those. Quarter cup is five milligrams. I've never tried this. I'm only doing one slice. I've got green, red, and orange in here. I'm just going to continue to do these, get them all covered, just the panko, then we're going to tally them up at the end. We'll see just how much sodium ends up in each one. I have 22 slices here of different peppers. The whole count is nine milligrams of sodium. So I'm going to go ahead and put them in the egg, in the panko, put them on my cookie sheet. Then we're going to put them in the refrigerator, let them set up for a good 20 minutes. You can let them sit like this in your refrigerator for a couple of hours. They're fine. These are ready for my refrigerator. They're very pretty. In the description of this video is a discounted coupon that you can click on that link and order my Learn Low Sodium Air Fryer Cooking and Recipes. That course is packed full of information, recipes, and videos, lectures to show you how to do this. Because we have so many Pepper slices, had to add another egg, but we didn't use all of it. Had three tablespoons left. We used 112 milligrams of sodium in the egg for the 22 slices. It took one and a quarter cups of panko, 88 milligrams. If we had used four C's, one and a quarter cup is 20. We had used all cracker meal, and we don't know what it's going to taste like yet. One and a quarter cups would have been 25. This is a whole lot of food. Panko, all of these would be 209 milligrams of sodium. If we had used four C's, would have been 141. The cracker meal, would have been 146 for the whole pan. It's time to spray these and put them in the air fryer. You can use any kind of spray that you want to as long as it sits no sodium. I've used all of these. I've used this Misto, different pans. I love this one. Avocado oil, and I can change the direction of the spray. I'm only going to spray what will fit in my air fryer. Turn it upside down in there, give it another quick spray, 400 degrees for five minutes. 
and check them. A little spray, just not much. Doesn't take much. I think I can do six at one time. I think. You don't want these to overlap. I'm going to try that cracker meal one. It's got my curiosity. Okay, there it is. In there. I'm going to have a quick spray. These are really pretty. Make a great appetizer, snack, or a side dish. Either one. We're going to try this one with the cracker meal. We know we like the panko. I put these in for five minutes, and then I like to check them because although that thermometer on here says it's 400 degrees, I got nothing to verify that. I wonder sometimes if it can scoot up to 420 or be at 390. We don't know. I just like to check them. Make sure I got them right. The first batch, 400 degrees, took 10 minutes. Every other batch has been done in 5 minutes. Watch your air fryers. We don't know what the degrees are in there. We tried the one with the cracker meal. I probably should have done more than that. It's quite good. Well, the first batch, I only have three left. Husband's really enjoying himself. When all these get done, and we don't eat all of them at one time, when they get to be room temperature, you can put them in a bag, put them in the refrigerator, and then the next day or later that night or watching TV and you little snack, throw them in the air fryer for a couple minutes, and they're just like they were when you first did them. You want to make sure that they are at room temperature. If they go in the bag when they're a little bit warm, gets condensation in there, and then they turn out soggy. Not good, soggy. Thank you for watching my little tip for the day. If you like what you see, subscribe to my channel. I will be putting several tips every month. Cooking, we'll have some recipes and just some things for you to watch out for where that sodium hides. Put the little bell and you'll get a little notification when I put a new one out there. If you have questions or comments, I'd love to hear from you.